You might not know this, but California is a human trafficking hotspot with victims forced into all kinds of horrible, unimaginable situations. Sexual slavery, forced labor, being held against their will. But tonight, over a dozen trafficking victims were rescued right here in the Bay Area. Over two weeks in July, local law enforcement agencies worked with the FBI to carry out 17 operations, and they arrested nine people linked to trafficking. There are kids. They're living in our communities. They're living on our streets, and they are not for sale. The Bay Area has led the way in developing techniques to investigate and disrupt this activity. Operation Cross Country started here in the Bay Area. We have always been leading the way on this. But the end of that operation is just the beginning of a long road to recovery for these victims. Our Andrea Nakano spoke with a survivor turned advocate up in Sonoma County who hopes things go better for those women than they did for her. Elizabeth Kuros was a victim of human trafficking for nearly 12 years, but victim no more. She is making a difference, saving young women trapped in a life of crime and abuse. When I was 26, I was arrested for the last time, and I had a three-month-old baby boy that I needed to think about. And at that time, I realized I needed to end the cycle that was within my family. Elizabeth Kiros says she met her trafficker when she was just 16 years old. It began with a stranger first giving her compliments, then gifts, then a hope of a better life than what she was experiencing at home. But it just led to a life of crime and trauma. At the time of my, the point of contact of me being arrested, there was no services. I was treated as a criminal and looked down upon because, of course, I was an addict. I was you know, selling drugs and smoke my own supply because of all those years of trauma and being trafficked. Kiros is applauding FBI's latest operation cross country that helped locate four children and 17 adults. She feels a key to really reaching the victims is to provide the right type of resources. It's important that we continue to bring advocates. We continue to even survivors to be a part of those situations where the victims can relate. They can understand because they're not going to talk to somebody that's in a, in a uniform. That's why Kiros co-founded Redemption House to give victims the support and tools they need to turn their lives around. But once they realize, you know, like th that the power is theirs, once they get out of that life and they realize that that's their, their power is theirs and their voice is theirs, they'll start be able to be set free from all of that. Kiro says the resources she was provided behind bars truly changed her life. She now is a social worker with a master's degree. While her focus is now to help others, she is rewarded with each victim she saves. A lot of times their, their uh, traffickers are not prosecuted or arrested or their abusers go, it, it goes unnoticed. So I tell them, well, just keep sharing, keep speaking about it, keep sharing, keep speaking, and that will be a form of justice. So then you can get that proper healing. So it helps me too when I do this. Kiro says she had three traffickers during her 12 years. None of them were prosecuted for human trafficking.